Hey everybody, this is Jason, and today we're gonna do a little bit of a, I don't know, talk about Metopia. So, I've got the game here, and we're gonna sort of just start playing. Uh, but basically, I'm just wanted to talk a little bit about my feelings about this game, and just sort of like, uh, you know, like what it is. So, uh, Metopia, you'll have to excuse the fact that it's not really on anything interesting here. Let me actually get started in something. Utopia is a game a lot like the uh, sort of Tamadachi life, where you control, or not really control, but you put uh, some of your own, like, me creations, or other people's me creations, into a world and have them basically interact with each other. Uh, in this case, um, <clears throat> uh, you basically have... Uh, me's that are wandering around in sort of a RPG style game where they're trying to basically uh, stop an evil dark force from stealing all of the people uh, people's faces basically uh, which works with the me premise because me's faces are basically all very uh, interchangeable and you can basically do whatever you want with them and if you took them off and put on another another me it might be pretty funny or it could be you know not <laughs> uh, but the main thing of this one is is that you have different roles that your characters can perform and you basically just send them off on a path and see if you actually run into any battle now during scenes like this i'm literally not doing anything um the game is Basically, it just sort of like auto walks your characters across an actual, <laughs> an actual uh, place in the game, and then if something happens, something happens. Uh, but that something is always going to be pre-scripted. Um, it's never a random occurrence. Uh, the same thing will always happen if you go back across the same path, at, and that's basically just the way that it happens. Okay, that face works uh, really well. <clears throat> uh, yeah, I like that a lot. <laughs> uh, but anyway, when it comes to actual battle, uh, you only control your one character, and that's it. The other characters do whatever it is that they want to do. Uh, on my end, I can attack, I have skills in magic, and I can eat snacks. I can also have, like, sprinkles that I can give to people to help heal them or bring them back to life. There's a safe spot to let them recover, uh, but I'm just going to choose to attack. And my friends, if I have a certain level of friendship with them, will attack with me at the same time. Uh, but basically, th that that's like half of the game. Letting your characters wander, and then also uh, doing battle and doing prearranged things. As you do battle, you grow and develop relationships between the Mies, and they basically end up learning skills which help them in battle uh, along the way to either help boost attacks or help uh, warn them <laughs> of other things or help protect them against uh, incoming danger. Uh, the uh, Ugly Betty character that you see, she is a side character that I'm actually like helping find. Uh, the Tina's face that we're actually currently battling a monster to get back right now. Uh, but typically the party consists of four people. Uh, myself being the main character in them. Um, there is also an auto battle function which basically it almost removes the entirety of gameplay from your hands. <laughs> um, the only other option that you have is to fast forward. And basically you can fast forward almost the entire game. Uh, in battle here, it'll fast forward until it is my turn. Or if I was using auto battle, basically it would just fast forward through the entire thing. Uh, you can pick a place to be and then just basically fast forward the entire thing. And that's it. It's just watching. Uh, it reminds me a lot of like tablet games or mobile phone games. Uh, they need to be healed. Uh, I can't. I can't let that uh, continue. So let's uh, let's wait. Okay, so I'm gonna heal. Sorry. Uh, but yeah, it just, it takes a lot of the control away, which also, in my mind, takes a lot of the fun away. Because there's no real skill. Um, and they sort of really do hold your hand. Like right now, I'm, I'm using salt shaker type sprinkles to heal and refill all the uh, magic points for all my characters. And that's basically it. Um, yes, I have had characters die. 
I have had a gate. I have lost completely in a battle, but there's no real penalty. Um, and then the game just it just guides you along the way, like in grinding. <coughs> Excuse me. It's a little bit annoying because you basically end up going over the same thing over and over and over again, which is why I found out that everything is extremely scripted. Um, because you're never going to see anything different. Um, and once you finish the game, you can replay it, I would assume. Um, but then you would end up having like different characters that you could pick, or you would do different me's. Um, but that seems about it. Um, the, the other odd thing about it is, is that you start the game and then you get your three heroes. Um, and then all of a sudden the game's like, oh, well, they're all gone now. And then you start over from scratch again and basically get three more new heroes. I'm on my three, I'm on my third, my three set, my third set of heroes. Um, so basically I started from scratch, uh, twice now. No, three times because, you know, considering the uh, beginning of the game, uh, which is kind of annoying. Like I thought that I would get more heroes and then basically be able to swap through them. Uh, but I haven't gotten to that point. Basically, I just had to always start from, start from scratch. I honestly just find that annoying. Uh, I just, there's no skill. There's no reason to keep playing, but yet I find myself continuing to play the game just because it's easy. Uh, this is the second part of it. So this is the inn. Basically, this is the main area where you'll interact with your Mies. And uh, they recover their health. Uh, you can buy them new items, which they might not even buy new items. You can feed them to increase their stats, or you can play little games. But none of it really matters. Basically, you just fill all their needs, and then you set out with them off into the world and just do the same thing over again. It's just, it's just, it's very wash, rinse, and repeat. Uh, which, in this case, it's not necessarily that exciting. Um, I don't know, I just... I am wishing for a little bit more. Uh, it's it's fun and engaging in the fact that I get to see, like, Shinji's father uh, as some sort of weird scientist guy, uh, I don't know, helping rescue the world. And then I saved Ugly Betty, Betty Tina, and Meg uh, from the evil clutches of the Dark Lord of Wada. But at the same time, it's just like, there really could be something else. Um, and I really wish that there was. <laughs> uh, I don't know. It's just... It's it's slightly disappointing. Um, and I bought this game knowing full well after having talked to a customer uh, that it's very linear and just sort of holds your hand the entire way. And even knowing that, I picked it up hoping, just hoping that it would have a little bit more appeal to it. Uh, like Tamadachi Life, which I was a big fan of, I did end up dropping the game uh, just because it does kind of get old. Um, but I was hoping that this one, being an RPG at the same time, that I would want to sort of play it a little bit more. Uh, so that's why I found it just a little bit more, ex more upsetting that it just became so incredibly boring from the get-go. Um, so... <laughs> That's basically it. Um, it's interesting, but I feel like there's less interaction with the Mies uh, than there was in Tamadachi Life. And even though there is like some semblance of action, um, you really don't have to be involved with it. Like there's no need for you to take part in anything that's happening inside this game. Um, you basically could just sit there and watch it play itself while holding a button and you would be perfectly fine. But, uh, let me know down below what you think about this game, what your experiences have been, if you feel the same way. Uh, do you wish that it could have been more like an, of an open RPG? Like, you don't even get to control your characters. Um, I could imagine like a Legend of Zelda game that was populated by Miis that would, you know, randomly choose which Miis that were going to be there. And yes, while they might have like the same thing to say, regardless of what Mii that they are, uh, it'd be a different face, and maybe there's choices that allow you to see different people every so often and have different endings, but in this case, you don't really get that. So, 
that's my final thought. It's fun, <clears throat> but only for a short time. And so I'm going to leave you with this awkward dance featuring three of the least attractive characters inside uh, popular t uh, television these days uh, doing a dance for some reason. God, Tina's face is perfect. <laughs> anyway, thanks guys. Tell me what you think down below. Did you pick up this game? Did you like it? Have you beaten it? Uh, am I wrong in my assumptions for what this game is? I mean, granted, I keep on playing this game. I'm going to see it through. Like, I'm going to see the end of it. Uh, but it's just it's disappointing as like how I'm getting there. But yeah, that's it. Bye for now, guys. See you next time.